Hello friends, this is one video introducing how to install DFLSRP software on the Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Okay, this is the video section 1. First, users need to connect the hardware. Okay, so users need to connect the external AC adapter to offer the power to the DFL SRP hardware. Then users need to connect the USB 3 cable with the SRP and the PC. So after this connection, users need to download the latest DFL SRP software and install the software. Okay, here is the latest DFL SRP software program. Double click to install it. Click finish. After the install the software, users need to install the drivers for the DFL SRP device. Go to the device manager. Users will find under other devices, unknown device, the DFL SRP device, the COM port of DFL SRP. So let's install the driver one by one. Okay, SRP device first. Right click, update driver. Okay, here. Click next, install. So within the Windows 7, 64-bit operating system. Users need to sign the digital driver so that the device can be recognized correctly. Don't worry, continue. Okay, next let's install the driver for the DFSRP COM port. So let's go to the installation folder. Here is the DFSRP installation folder. Let's find the drivers folder. Okay, here is the COM drivers. Okay, double click the EXE. Then the driver for the COM port will be installed automatically. Okay. After the COM port driver is installed successfully. Users can find the COM port number here under the ports. So next step we need to sign the driver for the DFL SRP device. Go to the digital signature signing program. Okay. Yes, enable test mode. Okay, sign system file. Next. Okay, let's find the, the driver parts. Windows. Uh, system 32. Drivers. Okay, here is the driver parts. Okay, now let's fill in the driver name driver name for DFL SRP. Okay, this one, the DFL key. Copy this driver name. Then paste it here. Click OK. Now we have signed the driver. Then next step, we can exit this program and then restart the PC so that the driver will be valid. Click OK, then click Exit. Next step, we can restart the PC. Click Restart. Thank you for watching this video, Section 1.